Hello, this is Eric. And I'm Tiffany. We are Terrific Pace Gaming, and we're with... Just Got Played! Indeed. And today we're going to be unboxing Whistle Mountain. Whistle Mountain! Whistle Mountain. As you can see, this is a game by Scott Caputo and Luke Lawry, and published by Bazir Games. Let's try to find the other. Incidentally, it is heavy. So, find out what that's about when we get in there. Ah, this is what I was looking for. This game is for two to four players. It's going to take you approximately 90 minutes, and it does recommend that players be 14 and over. Uh, as you can see, years have passed since your successful foray across the great American West, stopping at tiny whistle stops while building a massive railroad empire. But railroads are only the beginning. Now you're taking your company's massive profits and investing them in new technologies. Deep in the Rocky Mountains, where there's abundance of water, coal, iron, gold, and whistles. Uh, so as this is saying, your workers are going to diligently build scaffolds and machines, collect resources and upgrade abilities. The evolving game board creates ever-changing options as this worker placement strategy game progresses. All right, so yeah, good job. Thank, thank you. you uh, thank you for saving me for You're myself welcome. here. <laughs> Excellent. What's in the other book? Excellent. Okay. So, well, what do we have? What do you have? Ooh, pretty meeple thingies. Oh, wait, not meeple. It looks like resources. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. This is going to be pegs. I'll, I'll get into that when we get the board out a little bit. Can we go through these? Sure. We got some what looks like raindrops or water droplets, some uh, ingots, gold ingots. Ooh, this is cool. A hot air balloon, a blimp, and a zeppelin. A zeppelin. Okay, I was like, I know one of these is a blimp and one of these is a zeppelin. I don't know which one. Um, I guess these are the whistles for Whistle Mountain. And then we've got some player colors. Looks like red, yellow, blue, um, and black. As a sign into all of this, uh, Whistle Mountain is a sequel to Whistle Stop. Although, everything that I've seen about this says they are nothing at all alike in terms of gameplay. Uh, not really even thematically, although I see the board, the, 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 the talk on the board <laughs> tried to thematically link them together. I don't think there's a whole lot of that really between the two games. They just used the whistle as part of the name. Oh, she got more in player colors? Yeah, so I found one of these in each player color, so I'm assuming these are markers that go, for, uh, go along with the other meeples that we had, we've got some anvils, and we've got some coal, I guess, because it's just... Whistles! Are these whistles? Oh, yeah! Like, I kind of want to, like, put them in my mouth, but it, you, I see. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guarantee you she did not say that. All right, a whole bunch of bag of bags for bags. all your things, because as you can see, these are not bags. They are just cellophane wrappers over here. Yeah. Then we have a deck of cards. They seem to have all the same back. These are okay quality. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, I don't really know what, they're, what they do, uh, but as you can see, there's a ton of symbols and everything going on. So I'm sure that's incredibly interesting once you understand it. Interesting. Mm. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it has multiple cool. colors. Multiple colors. Oh, cool. whoa, circles. Two candles. Uh, that's what you think they're called? Well, it looks like he's oh, surprised. Oh, it's shocked. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, no. What did she just say? All right. And then we have the instructions, oh. which are exactly the same size as the box. Big. Yeah, there's Whoa. a lot going on here. I have a feeling that this isn't going to be the simplest game we've ever played. Okay. Um, so it's not when lose banana, to, gotcha. It's not when lose banana. That is correct, which we could have played 15 times already <laughs> in the course of this video. Yes. Uh, there is a lot of art and examples, but again, I'm sure this is not the simplest game in the world as far as it goes. Though, if you know me at all, that's a good thing. Yeah. So. Hold on. There you go. I want to go back. I really like this. Here you see these play testers. I, I like this uh, area dedicated to the people that help build the games. So I just want to give oh, a... Did you know Mark Scheinert? He was a play tester. I, well, you know, I was going to say, uh, I think he was friends with Jeff Cornelius. And then let's not forget Stephen uh, Jelesniewski. Why did I pick that one Good of job. all names? Nicely. So that's There's probably fun. like four Smiths on that list. Yeah, I could have gone with a lot of other easy ones, and I picked the hardest name on the list. But good for you all. Now we'll get to some punch-out components. 
Oh, these look to be very organized into player colors and I then like some it. additional down oh here. My goodness. Um, want to punch one of them just to get a feel for it? Okay. Oh, thank you. That's easy. And then there's oh, a ton, a so ton you, more. You gotta be a little bit careful on these cogs here because you can see like it's it's pretty detailed or intricate uh, punching. So you gotta be a little bit careful on those. But other than that, this punches really nicely. Again, not the thickest cardboard I've ever seen, but I'm sure it's entirely functional. Um, yeah, most of this punches really well. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about all of this because I have not read the rules. So this is some stuff that happens <laughs> and things you use during stuff the game. And things. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say these are victory points. Hmm, interesting guess there. So I'll be waiting for your comments to tell me how wrong I am about everything. You are quite uh, a gambler. Taking her job away from her the time being. <laughs> no, only adding two. Adding two. There you go. As you can see, there's quite a lot of punch boards and components, as it were. Yeah, now we is. get into some of the other bits and pieces. So this is scaffolding. Uh, these are going to represent different things that you can get. Uh, coal, a candle, I guess, a gold. As you're building the scaffolding and moving your, your uh, meeples or whatnot around the, the game board itself. So... Mm. That's a fairly complex one going on there. It looks like you might piece together the board like a puzzle. Yeah, probably somewhat. It's even got a slot in the middle. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> no, babe. <laughs> More what seem to be boards and whatnot going on. Uh, uh, probably has different configurations for different player counts, I would assume. And um, this would be like the top of the board, so it would make a nice little, you can see like the mountains in the sky, which would pair with this one give or take. And then we got... And then below that would be... Mountains on the bottom. If this actually goes like this. Like yeah, this. There you go. Oh yeah, okay. Was that all of them? Yeah. So it would not, I guess, be different boards for different player counts, but rather on big board to work through. You can see the gridding on this. All right, so... The gridding is where you're going to be building your scaffolding and whatnot. This is going to be... I'm not doing quite fit. I guess I should probably read things before I make assumptions. But as generally speaking, what we're talking about here is over the course of the game, the water level is going to rise. So you're going to be building scaffolding and whatnot going this way. And meanwhile, every round, the water is going to go one step up. So you're trying to save your meeples and build and whatnot to get them out of the water. So you're going to have all kinds of scaffolding. Is it, is it's it, danger. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it, is it like this is the bridge and then this is the water level rising and once the water gets here, you gotta make sure they're safe or something? Well, I think you're also building as you go. So, in, like, in the first round, you could theoretically have start here, have scaffolding here, and guys ah, here. And you gotta okay. get them out of there before, before the, water the water rises. Before the water rises, I yes, see. Yes, exactly. That's cool. So, that's a, a nifty little mechanism going on here. Um, I'm having a hard time actually putting it all together for you. But as you can see, these would all stack on a big one here, basically and then you pull them off and go up as you went so that they would also lock into the little pegs here. So that's how the water will be built as you go. Um, what else have we got going on? There's more of the scaffolding that you would build as you go. Uh, you will use the airships that you saw previously to get to different locations on the scaffolding, save your meeples, build some machines, uh, things like that. Machines, oh uh, yes, I'm sure that's what a lot of these punch-out things are. Trophy room, machine, I guess. Maybe it's actually these. A welder, a wet iron, a treasure map. Ooh. So overall, that is everything that wow, is in the box good. doesn't look like there's a divider or anything which sometimes is a good thing yeah, just, unless you do your own thing. unless you do your own thing yeah exactly we're not oh. exactly industrious enough to be making our own inserts but we do have a ton of little bags yes we do i didn't show you i, I found this when i was punching my player board my player color oh, board fancy. it is so it looks like you've got your storage over here and just like a player aid kind of thing here you know it says main action pick one um and you can collect or forge. So I, that was cool, and I figured I would show that. Oh, it's in the back. End game VP scoring. Okay, cool. So, you know. How about these? Do these have a... Nope. No. Double-sided. Okay, interesting. So I guess the little gears that we have here, you would slot them as you get them. Yeah. Uh, too many different layers, but yeah, that works nicely, actually. Which makes me a little... 
Oh, wow, it does slip Ooh, right in there. Fancy. I was going to say, it makes me really concerned for their longevity, but I take it back because it was made at a really great shape and size that they don't really bump together. They just slide no, it just in nicely. just nicely slides and locks into place. It's very nice. That was very thoughtful of the designer. And some blue ribbons. Ribbons! I love ribbons! Yeah, it's a little blue ribbon for is this, you. Is this like, no, this does no, not go there. Like <laughs> okay, well, as I said, we haven't actually read these as reactions or anything, <laughs> sorry, so guys. at this point, we're just playing around. Um, <laughs> and with that, I want to thank you for joining us for Whistle Stop by Busy. And we will see you next time. See you next time.